Zell Boy Army, welcome to another spicy video. In this video, we're going to be reviewing the latest 6 pm content, specifically Foot Birthday Team 2. Honestly, there are some absolutely ridiculous cards in this team. I have just had a quick look at it. Um, so let's get into it. So here, I'm just looking at the concepts here in my squad. Um, We've got Sterling. We're going to look in depth at them, but I'm just going through them one by one. And I'm going to open a few save packs. I've got, we've got Sterling, Modric, uh, Paulinho, Awa, Adama, uh, Chan. We've got that Payet as well, who's an SPC. I'm going to do a separate video for him. We've got a Tal. I think Chowdhury's an objective. We've got Tamori, uh, Bernadeshi, Ryan Kent, Gunter. Is he from the... I think he's from the original one, actually. Yeah, okay. So we've got some pretty good ones there. Let's open our packs. See, we've not got many packs, but we'll see if we get anything from them. Two mega packs and a rare players pack. If it's not a walkout, then I'll just skip. It's gone to a new one. Okay, yeah. I wasn't sure if it was or not. It's just a board. Okay, rare players pack. Hopefully something from that, but probably not. It's a walkout. Oh, it's just one of these awful 84s, ain't it? They shouldn't be walkouts. It's very, very disappointing when you get one of these. It's not bad from one of these packs, though, to be fair. To get um, 285s. Okay, let's get into the players then. We'll see quickly, have a look at the objectives. We've got Chowdhury. You have to basically play 14 matches to get him. Good links, obviously, being English. It's a bit slow, but got some very good physical stats. I think he has the five-star weak foot too. As a free ob objective, he looks pretty nice. Um, is there anything else? No. Okay, let's get into the actual team now. Concept, foot birthday. Start with Sterling. Sterling has five-star skills, so he's upgraded from four-star. And he has three... Star weak foot upgrade to four star. Some people would prefer him to have the weak foot, some would prefer the skill moves. This Sterling, though, does look pretty special. Rapid, so he doesn't need any more pace. You're probably going to be putting a dead eye on him. He's going to be amazing on the ball anyway. Um, a dead eye on him is going to make him pretty crazy. Very, very good looking card, this Sterling. Strong link to that um, team here, De Bruyne. And obviously, we've got a lot of good English players on the game. That Sterling's probably going to cost. One and a half to two mil at least, I'd imagine. He looks pretty cracked. Modric. Insane card, except for the pace. Four star, five star on this Modric. If this Modric had 85 pace, it'd be really, really good. But I genuinely think that pace has messed him, his card up. Obviously, Real Madrid links as well are nice. But I don't think that Modric looks anywhere near as good as he could have been. Uh, we have Paulinho. This Paulinho looks very, very good all round. Brazilian is a decent nation to link, but that's about it in terms of his good links. Four-star skills is obviously nice. But then the five-star weak for on the midfield is pretty crazy. With a shadow, you're getting him defending really high. With a hunter, he'd have 99 finishing. He looks great on the ball. His passing's amazing. His physicals are great. Like, this guy looks pretty, pretty special card, to be honest. Wish he had slightly more pace at this point in the game, but it's... For that card, it is still pretty insane. Uh, we've got Awa. Four-star skills, five-star weak foot. On midfielders who are going to play CDM or centre mid, I'd rather them have the, uh, what you call it, weak foot. Rapid. You're probably going to have him as your creator midfielder because his defending physical, whilst good enough for CDM, aren't insane. So I don't, I don't want him really on the um, destroyer midfield. I'm going to have him as the hunter. As a hunter, he's going to have 98 pace. Because he ain't going to get 99 sprint speed. 99 finishing. 
His passing's crazy. He's got great dribbling. He's going to be great with the weak foot. That AWAR looks pretty special. Got some good links as well. This Adama, I can only imagine how much he's going to cost. What are people putting him up at the moment? Has anyone packed him? Two mil, yeah. This Adama's going to be pretty crazy. Um, Go back to our foot birthday. Adama here, man. Five-star skills, four-star weak foot. Insanely quick. You're probably going to put a finisher on him to max out his agility, dribbling, give him, I think, 97 balance. It's a shame his reactions and composure are quite low. I think his reactions and composure being low are going to stop him from being, like, the, one of the very, very best on the game. But he's going to be rapid. He's going to have a great shot. Five-star skills, four-star weak foot's nice. He's going to terrorize opponents. His physicals are great. This Adama's going to be a pretty special card. Uh, Payet, we'll look at him in a separate video. Uh, Chan. We haven't seen Chan yet. Five-star skills, four-star weak foot. I'd much rather have the weak foot on Chan. Chan's pace is only 80, but sprint speed for me matters more. So I would always be um, liking that 80 pace with that sprint speed. I'd be putting a shadow on him. With a shadow, this Chan is pretty special and obviously has some fantastic links as well. Um, triple link to that Royce who came out. That Chan looks really, really good. We've got a Tal here. Five star, five star. Quite a few of these players are almost like shout outs to cards that we've had on previous years. This Tal looks pretty crazy. It's nice to see that EA are finally giving us some good right mids, right wingers now. Uh, but this Tal looks very versatile. Can play anywhere, to be honest. Team 2 looks so much better than Team 1, doesn't it? Uh, this is that Chowdhury. Decent card. Um, as a CDM destroyer of English, he looks really solid, to be honest, for a free card. Tamori, uh, pretty crazy card. Five-star skills. I'd rather have the weak foot, but four-star weak foot's great centre-back. He looks pretty crazy. Strong link to that small Dini in Serie A. Uh, Bernadeschi, five-star, five-star. This Bernadeschi with a hunter looks pretty crazy, to be fair. Some crazy cards that EA put in this team. Bernadeschi, strong link to CR7 as well. Ryan Kent, five-star, five-star. I wish I'd done that Tavernier SBC, man. This Ryan Kent's a triple link to Tavernier. I'm, I'm annoyed at Tavernier now because this Ryan Kent looks insane. Doesn't have great reactions or composure again, but five-star, five-star. You could probably put a dead eye on him to fix his passing and shooting. Like This Kent looks insane. Better than a Dharma, in my opinion, because of the weak foot. I don't know, Dharma to fair as the physical. It'd be pretty close between the two. Gunter, I think, is a new one as well. Five-star skills, three-star weak foot. Uh, doesn't really need any more pace. You could probably put a Sentinel on him. Pretty good card again. Like these te th This team, too, foot birthday cards are really good. Really good. Like There's a lot of top-tier cards here. I like what EA have done with this team. A lot of them who are going to be able to fit a lot of different teams link up. I think this is a really good team, to be honest. What do you guys think? Please let me know your thoughts. As always, keep it spicy.